Welcome back. Here we are again, me doing my favorite thing in the world, and that's some math problems by myself, talking to myself in my own room. Okay. Today we're talking about multiplication and division word problems. Uh, this is the title, so please put it in between the top two lines and put that date above the top line on the right-hand side. Today we're going to talk about word problems and where are going to be some ways to realize and understand and recognize that we should be doing the operations multiplication and division uh, in real-world scenarios. So let's get to it. Here are the notes you need today. I'm going to delete this because that was a bad example from last video. All right, the notes. When multiplying, the multiplied numbers are called factors. So you multiply factors together. And the answer that you get out is called the product. So you multiply factors and you get a product. Uh, tip off words that are going to let you know that you might, might be doing multiplication while you're uh, reading a word problem. If you read multiplied in times, you might have a multiplication problem to do. Um, but some other tip off words are groups, each, and if you just hear about repetition, um, and they're talking about the total. Um, so groups in each, so I like the example of if you have three baskets and each has uh, 10 apples in it, then you have a total of 30 apples. You get that by multiplying um, because you can think of the baskets as groups. We said they each have 10 apples. And you can also see that that's repetition. We have the same thing over and over again, the same looking basket. Uh, three times, and they're looking for the total number of apples, so you have to put it all together, and we do that with multiplication. Now for dividing, the dividend is always divided by the divisor, and I tried to show you that right here. Um, so I'm actually going to ask you to take this, this example, we'll do it in red so you know to take it down. We have the dividend being divided by the divisor, and then what do we get out? We get the quotient. Um, so put those terms as well. And I also wanted to show you, I'll do it better this time, is that if you're trying to work this problem out or trying to work out any division problem, the dividend is divided by the divisor. And the way I like to think of this is that you have the dividend kind of sitting in a house-like structure and the divisor is trying to break in and that's why the, the wall is buckling uh, towards the dividend. Uh, Jesus said that there will be a house divided because of the serious things that he was talking about. Um, like eternal life. Um, so the divisor is trying to break in, but it's on the outside. And then, uh, of course, you would get the quotient, in this case, would be on top. 8 divided by 2 would give us 4. Some tip-off words for a division problem would be divided by. If you hear divided by, you probably should be doing division. Um, or if you see the words split or each, um, or they're mentioning repetition, but they're looking for one of the parts. So if they said, we have... Um, 30 apples split among three baskets, how many are in each, you can see that they're looking for one of the parts. They already gave you the total. They said, we have 30 apples, we have the total, but they're trying to split it, and they want to know um, what the equal parts are. So take these notes and then move on to example one with me. Example one says, Daniel has caddied 14 times over Daniel has caddied 14 times over the past two months and earned a total of $196, $196. How much does he earn each time he caddies? So hopefully you're noticing that we already have the total. We already have a total of 196, but they're wondering about each. So we said each can signify division or multiplication, but if we already have the total, we're going to try and find out... Um, one of the parts of this repetition. So he's done it 14 times. How much does he make each time? We're going to be dividing in this case. So in this case, we'll say 196 divided by 14. If you divide like me, you say how many times does 14 go into 196? We're going to do this in red so that you write it down too. Say so 14 goes into 19 once. One group of 14. We'll subtract it and we have, oh, some math teacher. Subtract it and you have five left over, drop down your six. How many 14s do you think fit in 56? I'm going to say four. Four times four is 16. Four times one is four plus one is five. Okay, we found it. So we got to make sure that we're answering the question. So we, our answer we think is 14. How much does he earn each time he caddies? Okay, this must be a dollar amount. So we want to put it in sentence form. He earns $14 
each time, or each round would be the proper term for a gull. Let's go on to another example. Two says there are 63 groups at, com at the confirmation meeting. If each group had three people, how many people were at the meeting? So maybe you have the confirmandi, their sponsor, and one parent in each of these groups. But there are 63 groups, so 63 confirmandi, 63 parents, 63 sponsors. So we're going to try and figure out what are we asking here. Well, we see each group, again, has three people. How many people were at the meeting total? So we're looking for the total this time. Okay, so this time we actually have uh, similar groups, repeated groups of three people. We have 63 of them. So in this case, we're multiplying 63 times 3. First we'll multiply the ones place. 3 times 3 is 9. And then 3 times 6, we have 189. What's our question asking? How many people? Okay, so we have 189 people were, oh, that's a miserable were. at the meeting. Mrs. Bovere is going to be upset with my handwriting. Okay, tried to fix it a little bit. 189 people were at the meeting. As always, I'm going to leave you with some practice problems. These you need to attempt on your own to get full credit. Uh, first, take some notes from the gold. That means you should be taking notes from that before you start doing your work and showing me your final answer and, of course, writing a complete sentence. Number one for practice says, the 28 eighth graders brought in $364, $364 for their field trip to the local food pantry. How much did each student bring in? So they had $364 as a class. Two says, Galapagos tortoises can nap or sleep. Oh, I don't know what you would call it. Maybe that's why I wrote both. Can nap or sleep for 16 hours a day. How many total hours of sleep could a group of 19 tortoises get in one day if they each nap or sleep for 16 hours? All right, I'm going to leave you with these, and I will see you all soon.